Hello friends, Aston here. So today I'd like to introduce my personal Google Workspace add-on called OneScript. So this add-on, I'm planning to do a all-in-one app script library for Google Workspace. And uh, so at this moment, uh, this add-on is going to be used for Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Drive, Google Sheets, Docs, and uh, Slide. So it's basically, I think it's almost covering all the workspace uh, applications that right now is available for workspace add-on. Okay, so then, and I have some details and uh, I'm going to uh, go through the add-on in this video and I'm going to maybe give you a demo for, uh, for, every, for one of these applications. Okay, uh, go through them one by one. All right, so first let's start with Gmail. And if I open my email here, uh, and uh, for for a Gmail, so you will see here this is the add-on called OneScript in the living in this sidebar. So this is the workspace add-on is a little bit different for the Google Editor, Editor add-on. Uh, and here, so right now the only feature we have in Gmail in this add-on is to is called Group. So it's basically we allow users to create a group uh, with multiple email addresses here, as you can see. So I can create a new group, and uh, if I have you know, created a new group, so for the new group, I can enter email addresses in the new group, and then I can use it later in an email. So like for example, if I compose a new email, so I can bring this uh, add-on here, so I can insert a so right now I only have one group. So if I want to insert one uh, script group and to the CC field, and I can insert all of them. So I see right now it's in the CC field. So basically you can create uh, your groups and manage your groups in the add-on, and uh, you can use it in the email, new email, or reply uh, any email. So this about the one script for Gmail so far, so only one feature. And then let's go to Google Drive. Okay, so this add-on here uh, for Google Drive. So for Google Drive, also living in the sidebar here. Uh, so for Google Drive, right now we have two features, but they are very similar. Okay, so we need to select some files. So if I select these three files, and then it's going to reload the sidebar. And right now we can export these files into PDF files or Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Uh, so you can export it into, into your drive or you can even send them as, you know, if I'm trying to send myself, maybe send them as, so I'm going to convert the documents to Microsoft Word and uh, the sheets into Excel and uh, the slide is to the PowerPoint. So if I do that, I can, so I can enter the email, who should be sent the email. So basically email configuration, and uh, you have the subject and the message to the receipt. So if I'm trying to send them, it's going to convert them into this kind of format here. And then in your, so if I'm open my email here, let me do a refresh. So you will see here, um, I've got these emails. So I've got them in the PPTX format and Excel format and uh, document, uh, Microsoft Word format. Uh, and also we can, we can send them as PDF if we want. So that's about the one script for Google Drive. Okay, so two here. And then next one, I'd like to go through the one script for documents, so I call it doc, doc script. And uh, in this here, we can do, so, so far we can do three, we can have three features here. So for this one, I'd like to introduce the first one, any page size in this demo here. So what this is doing here is basically, so right now in the page setup, we are kind of missing a custom size uh, option here, so we only have these options. So this any page size bring you a custom function here. So you can you can customize any size if you want, and uh, I also bring more. 
like uh, I have a zero to B6. So if I want trying to create a B6, and uh, I can do a landscape or something. So you can add some margin here if you want. So top, right, bottom, left, and I'm trying to apply it here. It's going to change the, you know, the size of the document as you want it. All right, and there are other features here, so I'm going to leave it here because this is going to, I don't want to make this video too long, but I'm going to release other videos, short videos to uh, explain DocScript, uh, maybe another specific videos for that, but we have other features. And now, the next one, I'm going to introduce the one script for Google Slides. So here, uh, I'm going to close this one, reopen the sidebar for you. And I think uh, we have three uh, features here. Um, some interesting one I'd like to share. So I'd like to give you a demo here for one of them. Uh, let's call it grid shapes. So this is doing here, what I'm doing here is a very interesting topic. So, uh, so basically it's going to insert some shapes as grid. So if I'm trying to insert a two by two grid system uh, into this slide, so what I can do here, so if this is a rectangle or, so let's just try it, so two by two, two column, uh, two rows, two columns, and then I have some gaps. So the gaps is, the gap is between the, the shapes and uh, the margin is basically to the, the, the space between the, the edge of the page to the, to the shapes. So let me show you what I mean here. So if I'm trying to apply them together, uh, so you will see so this is inserted as rectangle, right? So this is the page. And uh, what I can do, so this is a two by two, right? Rectangle. And uh, something interesting here. So if I'm trying to, if I select this element here, so th this, uh, this shape here, and uh, if I'm trying to do it again, and then it's going to recreate another grid layout. So it's going to replace this with another two by two. So you can keep doing this, right? So then it gets smaller and smaller, something like that. And uh, you can do other things, like if I'm trying to insert uh, a two by two, or maybe a one row, two column, and then I'm going to insert an image uh, to, this, uh, to this shape, and then I'm going to re re replace it by a one by two layout, grid, grid layout like this. And, uh, this is a placeholder image, so you can then update the image you want, something like that. So you can do things like this. So this is a very, I think it's going to be a very interesting tool to use here. Uh, but of course, we can have other uh, tools in this uh, add-on, so you can try it out. And also, I'm going to create another video for that. And uh, to keep this video short, and I'd like to introduce the uh, tools for uh, spreadsheet. So for this brush here, so we also have three of them. Uh, so I we have easy hide, easy delete. So this is just uh, mass uh, multiple tasks, basically delete, delete tabs. If you have a lot of tabs, it's going to be easier for you. And uh, I think I'd like to show you the Google Map image uh, here. Uh, so this one, I think is available for Google Documents and uh, Google Slides. You also can have similar features in that too, but I'd like to show you here in the spreadsheet. So I can insert a map for, so the Central Park of, the, uh, of the New York. So if I'm trying to do it here, so basically you can enter address and uh, insert image to your spreadsheet, things like this, okay? So that's about uh, one script for spreadsheet Google Sheet, and the last one, I'd like to show you the calendar. Okay, so in the calendar, what we can do, uh, the only, the only uh, script here we have is to help you to create the repeat, the repeat event uh, a little bit easier. So I know we already have some kind of repeat, right? We have the repeat uh, option here. Uh, but there is a problem here with this repeat feature because they are created with the same title. So um, according to my uh, working experience, so for the repeat uh, 
events. So some people want to see an index in their title. So that's, that's something we are doing here. So like, for example, I have this event and, can, and I can pass this index as a placeholder. So you can place this into the start of the title or the end of the title or anywhere you want to show the index for the event. You can do it here. And also you can use it in the description if you want. And uh, location, you also can use the index and the guest if you want to add. Then we have a start date and a start time for the event. So let's say do we have 16 here, right? So maybe I like to add it here, 22. Uh, 22 to show you. And then you have the duration here. So by default, it's a one hour. And the repeat. So basically, this repeat is based how many events you want to create. So let's say I like to create seven of them for a week. And then this interval is basically how many days. So normally, we have weekly meetings. So this should be seven days. And I, I, I'd like to show you I create uh, them uh, for every day. So I put the interval here for one and the calendar, you can pick the, a calendar. So right now this is a default calendar for you, but you can uh, pick a calendar you want to create this event. And then if I'm trying to run this script, it's going to create, I think, create uh, seven. So you can see here. Uh, so if I'm going to have a week view, should be not this week. Okay, so this week here. So I put this index here. So this is the index for description. So you will see there. So event one to event seven uh, for created by this, this add on here. So uh, that's all I have so far for one script. Uh, and uh, And I think that's it about this video. And I'm planning to do uh, an update here on this website. So right now this website is just um, is not updated yet. So I'm going to update the website so you can have all the instructions uh, for this add-on. Okay, so I think that's it for this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.